Hi guys, hope everyone's well uh, on this cold afternoon. We're out in Stockholm today. Uh, you'll see I'm joined by Curran. So Curran's going to be kind of manning our chat box today and our questions. Uh, if you want to say hello, Curran. Hi everyone. If you've got any questions, please, um, as Robbie mentioned, just drop a message down below and I'll bring that message up. Thank you. Awesome. So guys, today we are going to be talking about uh, sales cadences. Now, um, I've worked in multiple businesses uh, across my career and found that sales cadences are generally the backbone to uh, my success when I'm, uh, whether I was either an SDR, whether I was supporting my team um, in actually becoming uh, better sales reps uh, and ultimately achieving the number. Um, we we'll walk through some of my top reasons why uh, sales cadences are important to have in business um, and then also what that could look like in Monday. So if you're already a Monday user and you have Monday CRM, we'll show you exactly how you could build this flow in Monday itself. So um, on the screen now, you should see um, the start of the presentation. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is kind of walk through things nice and easy. So first off, who are on the task? So um, we'll go through that in, in, a, in a moment. And then here also, what are the um, benefits of a sales cadence, as I just mentioned, and then how to build that uh, easy flow within, within Monday. And ultimately, any questions you've got, uh, just kind of ask throughout. So who are we? We are Monday's number one partner. Um, we are their preferred partner when it comes to working with a lot of complex builds. Uh, we've got great founders, Thomas and Gustav and Frederick, who, uh, in our opinion, are uh, pretty much Monday gods. And um, we're very lucky to, to be working uh, for such a prestigious firm. This also means that we um, have access to a lot of great insight of how we can manipulate, fold, and uh, kind of make Monday what we need it to do um, for businesses we work with. And today, that's all around sales cadences. Uh, we're based out of Stockholm and London. Uh, we've hope, helped over 600 businesses. And um, ultimately, if you want any user cases or customer stories, please let us know as well. So um, today, the build is going to be focused in Monday Sales CRM. If you are new to it, it is fantastic. It's actually ranked four in the world at the moment. Um, it allows you to manage everything right the way through intake of, of an opportunity through to lead management, um, post-sales processes, customer onboarding, such things like that, um, email tracking, and there's a lot more coming in 2024 as well. So if you are considering looking at Monday Sales CRM, I would definitely urge um, you to get, it, get yourself a demo or even speak to us guys. So let's get into the meat of it. What is a sales cadence? So put simply, um, a sales cadence, uh, a scheduled or fixed number um, of kind of activities over a certain range um, through different channels, so email, phone calls, social media, those sort of outreach uh, processes. Um, and basically this helps you to, to kind of uh, build relationships and, and close deals at a much higher rate. Uh, you can see my top three reasons here um, as to why I think every business should have a sales cadence, uh, big or small. Um, the top one there is increased conversion rates. This is always something that's uh, being brought up in boardrooms, in sales meetings, whether that's with the, the rep themselves, all the way through to uh, senior leadership. And as you can see, a study there by um, Inside Sales um, have basically said a good, well-structured uh, sales cadence can increase contact rates um, by 110%, which is phenomenal, um, and a 40% increase in conversion rates. Uh, also, my second top uh, point is improved engagement and relationship building with prospects. Um, super important one, especially as a consultant. Uh, we're not here just to kind of sell something to somebody. Uh, as we know, most companies can, can kind of lean more that way. Uh, we want to make sure we build relationships with people. Um, and I'm sure that's something you guys aim to do as well. Uh, and then ultimately increased sales team productivity. So um, further studies obviously uh, show an increase there by 18% in, in revenue compared to businesses that don't have a well-structured sales cadence in place. Um, but ultimately with teams working remotely, 
more autonomously. It's always still good to have that structure. Um, you know, things like today's actions that business uh, people need to do in their roles, follow up steps, this side of things. Everybody likes a bit of routine and the sales cadence, a good one, really does offer that. So uh, just moving on to the next one. Here is an example of a sales cadence. Okay, so um, sales cadences come in many different shapes and sizes. Some have more stages to them. Some might have less depending on the complexity of uh, the product that you're selling or the solution that you're providing. Um, today, we're just going to work on a five phase sales cadence. Um, and within that phase, there's two stages that can be completed as the lead moves through the cadence. So um, I'll show you what that looks like and how we've built that as part of our CRM today. Um, but take a mental note, this is what's going to be the main uh, structure uh, within the platform. Um, and like I said, jump online, Google, places like that. If you don't have a sales cadence, we can help you kind of define one if you want to, or jump on those sort of uh, search um, websites to kind of get a good idea. There's loads out there. So just jumping into uh, Monday. So basically you'll see here, we've got the sales cadence as a board, a part of our whole Monday suite, our Monday CRM suite. That's really important because ultimately once a lead has finished this process, they either become a qualified opportunity, hopefully if you uh, follow the cadence or an unqualified opportunity. If they're qualified, we want to be able to move that into the next phase uh, of our CRM. If you have it separate to your CRM, uh, it's quite difficult to actually keep the continuity of data flowing through. So it's really important that you create your, your CRM uh, sales cadence within the Monday CRM itself. So uh, I'm just going to kind of break down. There might be some new people that have joined this uh, webinar today that haven't seen um, Monday before or have experience with the CRM. So I'm just going to break down what the groups mean and, and the, the views and things. So we've got a good understanding of the further uh, kind of meat of the, of the discussion today. So um, what you're looking at right now is a board. OK, so uh, boards are essentially what Monday used to hold the data uh, that you guys are, are nurturing, for example, in, in terms of leads. So um, within the board, this is where all of our actions and everything's going to live regarding our sales cadence. Now, groups of these uh, kind of holders of data um, right here, repositories for the data. So in these groups, we got today's actions because ultimately if I'm a salesperson coming into this, I want to see um, what actions I've got to complete today. Uh, we've got another group, future actions. So anything that's outside of today's actions will sit here. Uh, qualified and unqualified. Ultimately, you can change these groups to fit what your cadence is um, trying to provide. Uh, but we find that these are the best four groups to have. It doesn't need to be complicated. This is one of the um, myths of a sales cadence, as it were. Uh, a lot of people invest in quite expensive tech and software to build a cadence. It doesn't need to be that heavy. Um, so we're going to keep it nice and light today. I'm going to show you how we use this. So I've, as you can see, put some dummy data in there. But this is actually a, a board that we use here at Omnitas. So um, before we go into the data and actually start setting in and mapping out this cadence, a couple of more pieces of information in here. We've got a default view and a main table up here. Uh, the difference between these basically are uh, the defaulted view is the data that I feel is valuable to see uh, in the board. And the main table, um, as you can see here, houses a lot more uh, data uh, in there that you might not find necessary for you or your sales teams to view. But they are still important parts of this setup, as you'll see things like first name, job title, um, country, this sort of this sort of data is really good to have in your sales cadence. It does help you kind of enrich uh, the data. And the more information you've got on an opportunity or a lead, the better uh, outreach you'll get and the more kind of personalized you can get with that outreach as well. So today we're just going to focus on the default view. Now, within here, um, I briefly touched it on the last uh, on our last board, but I have certain columns that are super important for me to manage my data and to understand what I've got to be able to outreach to this organization. Now, 
I've got a lead and this is the name of the person that I'm reaching out to. Uh, for you, if you sell one product to a company and it's you know quite transactional that way, you might have a company data in here um, as well. But ultimately we sell to individuals um, within companies. So we've broken it down a little bit differently. Um, we've got the owner of the lead. So if you've got multiple people in your sales team, you can assign them to certain leads. Um, or if you input data from lists such as Lusher, um, or you create your own lead list, or they've created their own lead list, when they put it into the system, it will be assigned to them straight away. Um, this is important so they can see what actions are important to those um, reps in, the, in that day. So for example, the today's actions. We've got the last action date, super important. I wanna see the time between um, my last action and my next action. So here we can see it's a day. Um, the lead phase we'll come on to in just a moment and the tasks. Uh, so am I working on it? Is it done? So on and so forth. And we'll feed that in a moment. Uh, and then the company itself, contact number, email address. And again, like I said, you can have any data um, on here that you feel is necessary. So let's get into it. So making your uh, sales cadence within the platform is essentially creating uh, recipes and automations that help you move and add action items uh, to these uh, data points, to these items. So again, remembering that phase that we built out, the five phases um, of our sales cadence, there's steps that need to take that need to happen within phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase and phase five. Now, we've got data in here already, but I just want to show you real quick how you can import those lists um, by simply just clicking the import button, browse and search for your data set. Uh, superhero data one and it will literally bring it in that way. Now we have to make sure that the columns within our um, data set, as we've got laid out here, match the columns in our Monday board. Now we can see actually that five of the columns do match perfectly, but actually two of the columns don't because they don't have this marker here to say that they're connected. So what I'm gonna do is simply click match, go to the lead name, and I'm gonna select the columns that they're supposed to connect to. Once that's done, we can see that they're all uh, a lovely shade of blue at the top, and I'm gonna finish my import, and it will bring that data set, as you can see, uh, into a new group at the top. Now, because I imported that data myself, um, what it's done is it's actually assigned me to the ownership. If you're a sales manager and you import data, you can select who you want to send that data to. Now, um, it's currently at the imported phase. And what I want to do is, for example, start my action um, on these phases. OK, so what I can do here is click the phase that it starts at. Now, phase one is going to be my starting point. So I'm just going to demonstrate with my day with my today's actions data what phase one gives you. So as soon as I click phase one, what's happening is an automation that's creating two items that I need to action as phase one of my uh, cadence, two items that I need to action to start the process of reaching out to this individual, one the Maximoff. Now, how did that happen? If I jump up to automations, this is where we're setting out that cadence in Monday. Now, the first phase was phase one. So what I wanted to do and this is the recipe for that, is when lead phase changes to phase one, I want to create one sub item, and that's an introduction email, I've titled that one, and a second sub item, and that's a LinkedIn request. Now, once I've created that automation, I can update this, and then that's reflected back into the board itself. Now, I've done this for phase two, and matching the cadence that we have. I've put the information in here. And again, I've done that also for phase three and phase four. So I do need to set up a phase five. So basically I can duplicate this and map it out, or I'll start a new. Basically it's super simple. 
when status changes to something, then create sub item. That's the formula. The status is the lead phase. Changes to phase five and create sub item. And the final uh, sub item is going to be farewell email. And create automation. And it's as simple as that. So when I'm back in my board and I've started the action on here and I've completed the action on here, what will happen is it will mark that phase as done and move it to the next phase for me. Okay, this is the second part of that automation. So if I jump back into here and we scroll down, these are those phases. So what happened was when the task changes to phase done, which are those sub item tasks that I created with my last automation, and only if the lead phase is one, then set the lead phase to phase two, and then set the task to working on it. Now, because of the other automation we set out, that means that as soon as I change that over, it's gonna move it automatically to the next phase for me and give me my actions just in here. Any questions so far, Karen? Uh, no, no questions so far, Robbie. All good, okay, brilliant. So we now know, understand that we've got all of our phases set out. Pretty simple, right? We've got our actions that are attributed to each phase, whatever they are for you. Like I said, get some inspiration um, or let myself or Cohen know and we can sit down and, and give you some as well. Um, now, this is my board set up. Okay, we've got the flow. We know that when I click done, it moves through the phase. Now, let me show you um, one more thing before we get into where your sales team or yourself will actually spend the majority of your time. Now, an important part of a cadence is that reach back date. This gives me the indicator that I need that it's time to move on to that next phase. And then we can see these guys are in phase two, uh, move on to the next phase of my cadence. Now, the reach back date can be done in two ways. You can either just select a date or you can select a time and date. So if your reach back has to be a reach out in the morning and the afternoon, then we can set that. Uh, or if it's okay to just be within a day and it needs to be done within the day, then ultimately you can set that. The two dates that you need to focus on are last action and reach back. If I jump into here, I'll show you the formulas for those. The first one is here, when reach back changes, then move item to future action. What does that look like? So if I'm in here and Peter Parker um, is in phase two and I say, well, I need to reach out to Peter Parker on the seventh, you will see that it moves to that future date. It's out of my today's actions and I can focus on what's remaining. We, we do have a question, Robbie. Yeah. Um, so one of the questions that we've received is, is it possible to set permissions um, whereby only certain people will be able to edit the board and only certain people will be able to view it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you can uh, set permissions within board itself uh, by setting filters, hiding columns, this sort of thing. Um, also creating static views for the individual themselves. Um, you could do that. Uh, by jumping into board permissions on the three dots, selecting this and actually choosing who uh, gets to see what within the board. So you can really lock it down um, depending on um, maybe seniority levels, for example, or um, the data that they're allowed to change and move. So yes, you can make uh, uh, fit the board permissions to suit the outreach or your business itself. Hope that answers your question. Um, so jumping back into here, Again, um, that other date that we wanted to, to make sure um, that happens is when reach back date arrives. So ultimately, if it was the 30th of November, um, excuse the demo data, uh, then it will move it to today's actions. Um, now, I will say at this point, any 
platform that you use for your outreach or, or building these cadences is generally only as good as the person using them um, and relies on that person to keep things up to date. So that's definitely something that has to come from you as a business. Now, let's get into an exciting part. So we've got the format built. We've got our automations built within there. Um, another thing that uh, Monday's great at as well is also suggesting um, what automations you can add based on the data that you're putting in there. So you may find that they suggest something pretty useful, um, like when owner is assigned, move to today's action. So if you are a sales manager um, and you're putting data in, automate that process. Um, so you can say, for example, um, you'll have a list of 10 people you want current to reach out to. I can add that into the data, assign it to current, and as soon as I have, it will appear in Corrin's today's actions, and we can simply turn that on. That's a great automation that um, the AI within, within Monday has suggested uh, we use as well. So that's how powerful the system can be. Now, we showed you earlier about some information uh, that's being held in the main table. Let me show you where that's being actioned and why it's important to have that in there. Now, I'm going to jump into Bruce Wayne uh, of Batman Incorporated. Um, and basically, this is where you start to action all of those um, uh, cadence steps that we have. So if I put Bruce into phase one, you'll see in a moment, um, if my <laughs> Wi-Fi is quick enough, it will pop up with the actions here in the board. We'll also see any lead information in here. So right now I've got Bruce's name, email address. I know he's the CEO of Batman Incorporated, but I might have only just learned his uh, location. So what I can do is update the data in here. If I learn his LinkedIn account, I can copy this in here. Um, and even areas of interest, if they're interested for us else, it's monday.com obviously, um, or some consultancy. Uh, for Batman, it might be bad guys uh, breaking into his house. So, you know, he's interested in some new gadgets, for example. Um, the lead status, obviously another important one here. Um, this is where you can set your reach back date. For example, if I called Bruce in the morning and he said, call me back in the afternoon, uh, I'm busy. I can do that and uh, set a time for the afternoon. Um, and it will always record my last actions based on uh, these two stages here anyway. And then I can also update company information in here as well. So let's get it, uh, get rolling. So basically my first step is an introduction email. Now, usually what would happen is I'd need to jump out of this platform to my email account and start composing something for Batman and, uh, hopefully he receives it. Now we all know, um, emails tend to fall on deaf ears a lot of the time. So we don't want to spend too much time in there um, actually composing them and you know wasting all of that effort. So what we've done here is connected this part, which is emails and activities, which is an amazing part of the, of the Monday CRM, which basically allows me, if I click new email, to compose or template my outreach all in here. So I could have a very quick template, uh, just saying an intro to uh, Monday CRM or Monday project management. Um, he may already be using it. I've got Pulse here, which is this column, um, which basically links to his first name. I've got the company uh, column here connected, which basically will uh, present to you um, as Batman hyphen Monday.com. Uh, CRM or account or whatever that might be. This is a real quick way to get that first initial introduction email out to a customer or a prospect. Um, and you can simply press send and it will fire across and it will look like it's come from your personal email address. Now, ultimately, uh, a good action is to have templates and personalize them yourself based on what you think they might be interested in. Um, you can also track the email uh, within Monday, which is a great uh, way to see if they've opened up that email yet, um, or you know if they've delayed opening it for some reason, you might get out of office, but everything from here will be tracked in emails and activities. Super simple to set up. If you've not done it already, click new email. It will give you the option to connect it to your Gmail or Outlook. 
as soon as you've done that, you can actually start to set it out properly for your business. This is a really good area as well for sales managers or marketing managers um, to add templates that they want the reps to use. Um, and it's got AI functions available in there as well. You can attach documents and that sort of thing. It's really good. Next year, um, Monday, we'll be releasing uh, something uh, very powerful, which I think can su uh, support this cadence, which is actually uh, email sequencing software itself um, within the Monday platform. So as soon as that's out, uh, we'll do another uh, webinar on how you can ad ad adapt that to the your current cadence if you build it out on Monday. So this isn't just all it tracks in here. So basically, I've sent my email. I want to click done. That's my first action. Now, my next action is LinkedIn request. So I might send a message with my LinkedIn uh, outreach, and we can template those messages here. Once I've done that, I might say hi. I'm going to choose the item uh, or the column I want to connect here. And I might say, hi, first name, it would be great to connect. And then I can template this, save it as a template, new temp. And I can have it for only me, or I can have it for everybody. And I can save that down. Now, every time I've done this, I can basically say, right, I'll add that as an action. I've gone onto their LinkedIn page. That's the message I've sent with my request to Batman. And I can now mark that one as done. Now, you can change these actions to suit what you want to see. They're not rigid. We've got pitched in there. We've got uh, SMS so you can connect it with the likes of Twilio. I've shown you a real basic version um, of, a, of a how you can set a sales cadence out within Monday. Um, I'd really love for you to kind of run away with this, uh, advanced it for your business. Um, I'd also really like to be a part of that uh, as well. If you want to get me involved, please reach out to me after this um, webinar. Or if you've seen it uh, online, please let us know. Um, and I'll be happy to jump in and help you set this up. Uh, but as you can see, you don't need those big fancy uh, sales cadence platforms all the time. Um, if you're just starting out uh, with this sort of technology, Monday is a great place to be able to explore that and um, action uh, those those uh, leads. Um, but we've come to the end of the webinar, guys. I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining uh, the webinar with us today. Um, again, if you've got any questions, please let myself or Corin know uh, what else am I missing that my marketing team might uh, kick me for for not saying sign up to our newsletter. Uh, absolutely. Um, if you're a part of the webinar, please come and sign up to the newsletter and uh, you'll get more information about advances in Monday um, and how we can help customers do that as well. Thank you very much, guys.